This sample demonstrates how to connect E prime to a Toby eye tracker. I have opened here a sample experiment called Fixed Position AOI. It comes with the samples and tutorials included with the installation of E prime extensions for Toby. First, navigate to the Experiment Object Properties window. This is done either by double clicking on the experiment object at the top of the structure window or by pressing Control E. Once there, click on the Devices tab. As you can see, the devices listed here are the standard set of devices for any E-Prime experiment. We need to add a Toby Eye Tracker. To do this, click the Add button. Select Toby Eye Tracker and press OK. Now, double click on the Toby Eye Tracker device in order to view its properties page. The first field, called IP address slash name, must be filled out. To find the IP address for the Toby, navigate to the Windows command prompt. This is done by clicking Start and in the search bar, typing CMD. Once in the command prompt, type ipconfig and press enter. This will display the IP address for the Toby. This particular Toby's IP address is listed here. Under Auto Configuration IP v4 address and is 169.254.76.143. This is typed directly into the IP address slash name field. As a quick test to make sure that your Toby is sending and receiving information, type ping, P-I-N-G, and then type in the IP address listed previously. So for this one, it's 169.254.76.143. And press enter. This sends a series of messages back and forth from the Toby to the computer. As you can see here, four packets were sent, four were received, and zero were lost. This means that the Toby eye tracker is successfully connected. The other way to connect to the Toby device is to type the name of the Toby device directly into the IP address name section. The name of this particular Toby device is located on the back of the monitor right next to the DVI port. This device's name is TT120-204-1. Remember, when you are typing this in to put dot local dot after the name. Once this is complete, there is usually no need to change anything else on the Properties page, so click OK to accept the changes and continue. Next, click on the Packages tab at the top of the Experiment Objects property page. To add ePrime extensions for Toby package calls, click the Add button. Select PET and then OK. Now click OK at the bottom of the Experiment Object Properties to accept the changes and close the window. Now we will add a few package calls to the experiment. Open the Experiment Session block and drag a package call experiment object to just before the Welcome text object. Rename this package call TET Open. This is done by clicking on the package call experiment object, pressing F2, and then typing TET Open. Changing the name of experiment object is done either by changing the name in the experiment object properties page or by pressing F2 when the object in question is highlighted.
Now, open the package call experiment object by double clicking on it. Click on the package drop down box and select TET. The routine drop the routine drop down box should be changed to open. Take a quick look at the details section and then press OK to accept the changes and close the window. You should see this package call experiment object change from looking like an open box to a blue T. This means that you have done this part correctly. The package call we just put in activates the Toby eye tracker at the beginning of the experiment. While still in the session proc, place another package call experiment object just after the goodbye text object. Rename the package call TET close. Now open it by double clicking on it. Again, the package drop down box should be changed to TET. But this time, the routine should now be close. Look over the details section and click OK to accept the changes and close the window. As you probably guessed, the TET close stops the eye tracker's participation in the experiment. Just as before, the package call icon should change to a blue T. Now, navigate to the experiment's trial proc. In the beginning of the trial proc, just before the fixation slide, add another package call. Call this one TET Start Tracking. Open the properties page of the package call and change the package so it now says TET and the routine to say Start Tracking. Click OK to accept these changes. This package call tells the eye tracker to begin tracking the participant's eye movements. After the feedback slide, add one more package call. Rename this package call TET Stop Tracking. Change the package to TET and the routine to stop tracking. Look over the details one last time and click OK. And there you have it. That is how you add a Toby eye tracker to any ePrime experiment.